wanted to do a quick room tour for you guys. This is the entrance and to the right, I think this is like a closet area. You have this like outdoor sink, which I think is so like unique. Mirror, shower, bathroom. And then the wheel broke on the Remoa. Thank you so much. Just leave it here for a moment. We were taking the suitcases down the rocks. Everything here is so hilly. So we're going down these rocks and the wheel fell off the Remoa. I'll be in a minute. No worries, thank you. It's so overpriced and literally we barely used it and it's just, it falls apart. It's actually ridiculous. I love my Calpac because I've had this suitcase for like seven years. Wheels are fine, everything is fine. Anyways, this is not a suitcase for review. So this villa is literally gorgeous. Can't tell you where we are in Mykonos because it's our first time here so I'm not too familiar with the areas but the view is beautiful. We have like the mini bar and everything here, coffee. The service so far has been great. Like just the check-in process was so smooth and easy and everybody was so nice. I will definitely let you know how our stay is here. This is not sponsored by the way. Um, we paid for everything. I just wanted to let you know how our stay is here at the end in case you guys are visiting and want to stay here. This is what it looks like from this angle and then we have our own private pool and like lounge chairs and all that stuff. And this is the view, it's breathtaking. I'm so excited to be here. Lyle went to, I think, go check for an ATM or something. I'm not sure where he ran off to. Or I think he's viewing the property. I am giving you guys a quick room tour and then I'm gonna freshen up and take a quick nap because I'm running on three hours of sleep and I'm a little bit, not a little bit, I'm super exhausted. I just feel like if I don't rest, I'm not gonna enjoy the rest of the day. It's almost 3 p.m., a little bit later in the day, but we still have a lot of the day ahead of us. So so today's not gonna go to waste, but I definitely wanna rest a little bit. I love how can I prop you guys so that you could see me? I am getting ready or I'm trying to get ready and I fucked up. This is what happens when I'm tired and I'm not mentally there. So we have a rezzo in 30 minutes at Principote and it's a 7 p.m. rezzo. It's 6.30 right now. Lyle went to see if we can rent like the um, ATVs, I think is what they are. Like the little bikes that people get around in here. So you don't have to wait for an Uber or... Actually, it's weird because I checked the Uber app and it says there's Ubers here, but then the driver that picked us up from the airport says Ubers are illegal here. So I'm like confused if there's Ubers here or not. Nonetheless, we do have a driver we can always message and he'll take us wherever we need to go, but it's expensive. So I can't be doing that every day, multiple times a day all of our friends that have been here are like get the little etv so anyways i was gonna go and try to rent one literally 30 minutes ago i was like going through my notes and i'm like wait a minute july 31st that's tonight i was like oh my god i'm texting Lau. i'm like we have a rezzo whatever i wasn't stressed out too much about it because i'm like if we don't make it we don't make it it wasn't one of the rezzos where i had to pay for to reserve because almost every other rezzo here you have to pay for to reserve you can't cancel last minute or get charged this one wasn't so maybe it's meant to be in a way um but i'm gonna call amex and try to get their help on either i already emailed them and i'm like can you please extend it no response yet. If not, I'm just gonna call Amex and get them to try and make us a rezzo maybe for lunch or dinner tomorrow and then try to also help us with a few other spots that I just, I emailed like over a month ago and still haven't heard back from them and I'd like to have a rezzo so I, we have no issues going in and like don't have to wait in a long line and stuff like that. I'm trying to get ready for dinner and now I hate this outfit. Can I just say like this top is really annoying me. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I haven't been wearing like any makeup on this trip which is so refreshing and nice so my get ready time is so quick. Uh, this top is annoying me because there's nothing more annoying than like a triangle top when you can't adjust the cups like why is the fat like you know it's like sewn in the middle here so the fabric is just like so close and I always like to pull this like this way so it looks nicer anyways the top is really frustrating me but I'm like this is kind of what I wanted to wear today this is what I was gonna wear today with my like white sandals I'm about to do my hair yeah Just lost my mind Now I'm losing time Can't sleep at night So cold, baby You say you love me, then you hate me How do I let it happen? You build me up and tear me into tiny pieces Every single time You've got me all tied up You've got your hands around my throat You've got me in over my head I'm drowning in the undertow I've got my fingers crossed I'm begging, baby, let me go You've got this captivating touch That's got me coming back for more Love 
Guys, our hotel is so stunning. This is my first time actually walking around and it's like golden hour. Oh my God, it's stunning. This view is just unreal. Look at this. These chairs are so cute. And they're like little butts. That's actually so funny. We did miss our rezzo at Principote. And good news, Lau was able to get us, what is it called, babe? What is this? A doom bug. Doom bug. Oh my god. This is going to be sick, but I already know it's about to be so windy. Check this out. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so sick. This is the villa's car. It's just like a pink Bentley. Wait, what license plate is that? I don't know. Guys, I'm literally walking and my fucking sandal literally just came out. These are so overpriced. They're the bro. I can't believe this just happened. I barely have worn these. What is going on with stuff breaking today? I was literally just walking up these steps and then my shoe was a little loose. Now we're gonna go try and find a shoe repair spot if it's open to like super glue it or something. I need my shoe. I barely brought any sandals with me and I'm trying to rewear everything and a mess, a mess. We were walking around Penny Soho. Let's hope I find a shoe repair spot. Good news, I found super glue and was able to, actually I think I fucked it up now that I'm looking at it. I don't think I put the string in deep enough. You see how it's like looser? I mean, but it works. Good morning loves. I just got out of the shower as you can probably tell and I'm quickly rushing to get ready because we have dinner at Spelia too. We woke up a little bit later this morning because we we're really, 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 really tired and felt like if we just caught on sleep, we would have such a better day today and like be well rested and the whole shebang. So we woke up a little bit later. So like everything kind of feels rushed right now. Um, hence why I'm rushing to get ready. I just washed my hair. It was time for me to like wash my hair. Normally I would, I would be so quick to get ready. Um, but because I washed my hair, it's gonna take me so much longer than usual. Anyways, I'm getting ready right now. We're going to lunch soon and then we're probably gonna walk around the city. I don't know what it's called. It's like where all the shops are. And um, yesterday was amazing. We went to Scorpio's for dinner, got home a little bit late. Are you trying to scare me? Yes. 
Don't do that. We went to Scorpio's last night. It was so good, but it was like, I think it was too much for us because we were tired and it was like we were falling asleep at the dinner table. So I, we have a reso there on Wednesday. Maybe we're gonna give it a shot again, but the food was good. Some of the food was a little bit salty, which I was surprised about, but otherwise it was really good. That's what we did last night. We went to Soho first, got a couple drinks, ran to Scorpio's because they're like right by each other. Before we head out, thank you to FabFit, FabFit Fun <laughs> for sponsoring today's video. It's a tongue twister for me. Say FabFit, FabFit, fun, fab fit fun three times. Times fast, I cannot do it. Fab fit fun, fab, fab fit fun. <laughs> I don't know. I've actually used them before, so I'm very familiar with how they work. I got a new mini version of their seasonal lifestyle box. I actually love every single product inside, and it's products I've used before. So this box is definitely right up my alley with the type of products I love to use. This new mini beauty box has three full-size products inside. It's $25, and the value of these products is up to $100, so it's a great deal if you are a beauty junkie like I am and just love trying new products or getting a refreshment of products you already love using this is definitely for you also i feel like this box is just such a good gift if you don't know what to get someone and they love beauty and skincare and all that stuff this box is just like perfect for that so the first product is kate somerville's exfoliate cleanser funny thing is i'm actually currently using this cleanser it's not with me on this trip but it is back home in my bathroom and i love it i'm almost out of it so this is a good restock of that cleanser i like this every other morning or night but i usually like to use in the mornings because it kind of makes me wake up and feel really fresh like when you really cleanse your skin it kind of like wakes you up and this has a very gentle feeling it's not tingling or strong like that but it definitely exfoliates that like top layer of your skin where there's usually a lot of junk or oil from sleeping or leftover makeup or sweat whatever is going on <laughs> with your skin this will help take it off and just kind of like let you start with like a fresh cleansed face and like a fresh palette to work with in terms of your skincare and makeup for the day so i really really like this cleanser next product is the dr brandt luminizer primer pores no more i've used his other primer and i've also used this one i don't know if the other one's like a mattifying one i think this one's the luminizer one when i put on my skin it just gives you this flawless finish and sometimes i like to wear it on its own and sometimes i'll put makeup on top when you live somewhere that's really hot i don't know i'm not the biggest fan of wearing a bunch of makeup so i like to sometimes wear this on its own because it just gives you this beautiful glowy finish and look and you don't really need to always have like foundation and all this other face products on top to get that nice fresh skin look so really like this product the third product is the anastasia beverly hills brow clear brow gel solid product love this i have used her brow pad i've used all her brow stuff pretty much at this point but i also really like her uh pot like brow pomade i don't even know what it's called it's like that clear container for her like brow gel but it's not like a gel it's like much thicker so i like this because it's not as thick as that that really helps when i haven't like laminated my brows recently and i need like something stronger to like position my brows in place the way i want them to be this is a little bit lighter so this is still strong enough to like last all day but it works better when my brows are more manageable if that makes sense that fit fun is just a great way to save money and you have exclusive access as a member to their online shop where you can shop top brands for up to 70 percent off there's a limited supply of these mini beauty boxes so if you guys are interested in getting it i highly recommend you do so quickly i'm gonna have everything linked down below thank you to fabfitfun for sponsoring this video now time to change and get ready for the day this is what i'm wearing i wanted to quickly show you guys before i ran out the door so i have a hat to keep my hair in place and a little doom buggy because it's so windy here just some accessories this crochet white dress flip-flops and my bag that's the look i love the back of this dress it's so pretty so yeah Running out the door, I'm gonna see you guys at Spelia.
I hate oysters. So good. Lao's new obsession. You used to not like them, and now you like them. What's this here? How do you eat, how do you eat yours? What is that? Like vinaigrette. Yeah. It's actually so fucking good. It's good. Wow. Not better than yesterday. Not for me. Oh, there were better yesterday. Scorpios, really. Oh, yesterday was nuts. Noted. It was like the most crispy, like. Oysters out of Scorpios are much, much better than Spelia. I play back when it's over, the back when, back when it's over, back when it's over, I want back when it's back, back. Back when it's over, the way you touch in the shoulder I want it back when it's over, the back Back when it's over I try to walk straight but I'm stumbling down I try to walk away but I'm coming back now I knew I needed shield but I didn't know how but why I try so hard I don't know what to do when it's making me cry I don't know what to feel, I don't understand why we go first. Hmm. Someone's sleepy. It looks very light. What is it? <laughs> it looks like you're eating half of it, so it can't be that bad. It's like weird. What's weird about it? Like it doesn't have flavor, it's how it does. It's light, that's why I got it. Wait, what would you rate it? My hat just flew off my head in the middle of the road. And I had to go get it, you're a trooper. Literally, it was in the middle of the road. Okay, we're walking around Namos right now. It's where all the designer stores are. Eris, Greek designer, so let's do it. I just saw this, and I think this is so cute and unique. I've never seen this. I was telling Lau how like when you online shop in the US, it's so hard to find cool things like this because you just don't know what to search for. But when you go to like a curated store like this, you find the coolest pieces. This is like a one piece swimsuit with this like crochet cover up. It's so cute. And then this, such pretty colors and fabric. There's a lot of this going on in Mykonos. It's like tassels and I don't even know. I guess people wear this to the beach. It's not my style, but you see this a lot. Like this kind of vibe. Oh wow, this is so flowy. Huh. This one's like sweeter. It smells so good. Yes, the sweet, tobacco strong, one. Strong and the other fresh. <laughs> the other size is is in rock, no? Which one? It's in rock, the fresh one. This one. Yeah. I play it back when it's over The way you touch it, my shoulder I wanna tell you, baby What I'm thinking we could be Back when it's over The way you touch it, my shoulder Off to dinner Cats everywhere Oh my god, how cute is this one though? Taking a nice nap Aw, cutie
We're shopping around the city. Oh, another kitty cat. I feel like they don't care about people because they live around people. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. It is Tuesday night pretty much. It's 8.51 right now and I'm waiting for Lao to get ready so we can go to dinner at 9.30. We're going to Buddha, Buddha bar. It's like a restaurant slash bar, but they said it wasn't like crazy music like Scorpios or anything like that. So we're gonna go check it out and see what it's about. It was recommended, so we have a reservoir there at 9.30. We were able to somehow get one. If you have Amex, call them, they hook it up. I called them today earlier when we were at Soho, just chilling and tanning. They were able to squeeze us in tonight, even though it's like fully booked online, all that stuff. So we're going to Buddha at 9.30. The view right now is just stunning. I mean, look at this. That's our pool, sunset, prettiest sky ever here in Mykonos. Like the sunsets here are just incredible. So I wanted to quickly show you what I got today. I haven't talked to you guys today. We've just been running around enjoying our vacay, doing stuff. So this morning we went to, I don't know, the market, like where the stores are. I don't know the exact name. It's not Namos. It's the other one. I think it's like the old city or something along those lines. It's where all the stores are and the restaurants by the water and stuff like that. So we went there today, walked around, and I picked up a couple stuff. Well, I picked up a couple stuff as well. Um, and I figured I would do a little haul and show you guys what I got. I didn't get a lot of stuff. All my US girls probably already know this, but shopping in Europe is so much better for designer stuff because you don't have the markup that they do when they ship it to the US. We went to Namos yesterday, and then today at the shops, there was like Louis, and then this other shop that had like a bunch of designers in there. And the prices are just so much much better literally some pieces are almost half off of the re not on sale though they're like half off the retail of what you would find it in the u.s considering you also get your sales tax back at the airport so that's 12 percent. so you get 12 percent off of the tag so there's this bottega bag that i've been eyeing for a while i love it i think it would be so it's not a trendy piece it's like a kind of timeless style been eyeing it in black no trendy colors happening here but online in the states i get net a forte tega nordstrom all these like sites it goes anywhere like full price anywhere from 2800 to 3100 before tax here i saw it in the store it's 2100 yo i think those are bats babe there's bats out here can you guys see them those are all bats right there oh no they need to stay away from here they're getting awfully close i'm watching them so oh oh so yeah and then here it was 2100 in the store and then you get 12 percent off because you get the sales tax returned at the airport because it's already included in the listed prices that literally is i don't know i didn't do the percent off on that but you save a lot so i saw a bunch of things i liked but i decided to wait till paris because we're going to paris after this and i figured paris i mean is like the central spot to shop the first thing i got i got more jewelry than anything i got these earrings I think rose gold, gold, and then silver. Hoops. I think those are so pretty. And then I got this evil eye bracelet that I think is also so pretty. I'm about to put this one on. I think all of these are actually made by artisans here in Greece. And then this bangle as well. How pretty is this bracelet, I should say. So pretty. And then these 
Lulu pants. They're really long on me and they're the softest like linen material. I got them in a large. I wanted them oversized. I think they're just like perfect to walk around in with like flip flops and a crop top, like a little tank. Um, airport at home walking prints who I miss so much by the way I miss him so much the people that are watching him send this videos like all the time of him and I just miss him so much I feel like he's like growing so much even though he's like done growing but every time I see a video of him I'm like he's growing so much like he's changed I can't figure out why but he looks different I don't know sandal came undone again as I'm walking to dinner this is great I super glued it She's like climbing all up on him. This is Kiki's. It's like a Greek spot, highly recommended. They close in 30 minutes and this is everybody that's waiting. It's packed. But they said if we wait, we'll get in. And they're ending the wait list when they close at seven and then everybody else can, they'll stay open until everybody eats. So this spot has no reservations, no website, no Instagram, no nothing. It's just like a little hole in the wall, but not really. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. They give you wine while you wait. Let's go over there. So there's sand all over my lips. And now we want to stop at Kiki's before we go back home, get ready, and we have reservation at Noema at 9.30. So that's kind of the plan for the rest of the day. I'm excited to try this Greek food. It's supposed to be the best. Babe, look at the moon. Oh my god, look at the moon. Can you guys see? It's huge in person. I can't even point to it right there. That's huge. So we just left Noema and food and service was very mediocre. The vibe in there is beautiful. It has so much potential. Crowd was pretty good. 
I would give the food a 5 out of 10. What would you give it, babe? Uh, I'm not going to give it a rating because I wasn't hungry at all. We weren't hungry. Okay, keep in mind we went to dinner right before at Kiki's, so we weren't really hungry. I ended up just getting dessert and Lyle got meatballs and a feta spread. Didn't eat any of it. Came but even though I didn't have an cat. appetite, I know he just gave one of his meatballs to a cat because he got it to go. Um, he couldn't finish it, but service was not good i mean okay it wasn't bad like everything was fine until the server just kind of messed up our order a little bit and just didn't handle it the way i think he should have he charged us for like things we didn't order and i was like i never ordered this he's like but did you like it i was like well i never ordered it and i didn't eat it he got me like the wrong dessert so okay we're trying to find our way back oh to the little dune buggy um, anyways, just wanted to give you guys that rating if you're visiting Mykonos. Cool vibe. Just gotta fix the food. The food was okay. I mean, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't amazing because it's an expensive restaurant. Okay, I'll see you guys in the morning. We're heading back to the hotel. Chilling, catching up on work, watching Netflix. See you guys tomorrow. We're back to the little town. I think it says this is, I think there was a sign that said this is Venice. Hopefully the wind is not too noisy. It's obviously windy as it is every day. This way? I figure because this is like towards the shop. We just had some pasta. It was actually really good at this spot called D'Angelo. It's right by the shop. So I got a massage earlier and I got my nails done because today was kind of like a more chill day. We have a reservation at 7.30 at Principote, but that's about it. And I figured I could get my nails done because I had to get them done at some point on this trip. And we leave for Paris tomorrow. So I'm like, let me just get them done today. I found a really good spot. So I did this. It's kind of it right now. We're going to Sephora. Gonna grab some souvenirs for the family and walk around again and then probably head to Principote. So we're off to Principote and this is my outfit tank top. I brought this little long sleeve because it gets really chilly outside at night if it's windy. Black shorts and then my sandals. Really casual and comfortable for our last dinner. Friday morning. We just had breakfast in the hotel and now we're off. I feel like this trip flew by so quickly and I was not doing too hot after last night. <laughs> Who told them to smoke so much shisha and drink a bunch of alcohol? I feel great this morning. Woke up, did emails, packed up in like 30 minutes, shower, got ready. Yeah. Some of us just gotta learn how to hang. We're off to the airport. I think it's like a 30 minute ride or something like that. It was chilly this morning, which is why I'm wearing my blade. I have so much work to do. I have a launch happening later today. The time difference has been killing me, but my phone is helping me like keep track of what time it is back home. And I'm assuming Lyle's gonna sleep on the whole flight. Cause he's tired. We're off to Paris, which I'm really excited about. I'm only gonna be there a few days. And in Barcelona, obviously vlogging a trip for you guys. I don't know when these videos are gonna go up because I have to edit everything. I've also been looking for a YouTube video editor. If you guys know anybody you can recommend, please send them my way, have them reach out because I'm in desperate need of someone to help me edit my videos and also edit them like the way I do it, if that makes sense, um, because I wanna keep the aesthetic the same. So if you guys know anyone, please send them my way. We had the most amazing time here at the winds. I can't stand everything else I loved. Food was great. Yes, it's overpriced. Yes, there's parties everywhere, which we didn't partake in a lot of them, but we did certain nights when we felt like we wanted to like go for that vibe. Food was good. Getting a car is essential because otherwise you're gonna spend so much on transportation and be waiting around. So renting a car or like the little dune buggy like we did. And the dune buggies are much safer than the ATVs because they have like the top part and they're a little bit bigger. So they are a little bit safer to drive around. 
out, but the wind here is crazy. The one told me it was going to be so windy and making up. No one ever talks about how windy it is here. It is so windy. Your hair is always like a mess. I haven't been able to wear my hair down once and I'm always like fixing it or retying it every 10 minutes when I'm outside because there's like, it's all over my face. Anyways, other than that, it was an amazing trip. We'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoy this vlog.